Elsewhere this afternoon, the country's top tech CEOs in Congress agree the government now must regulate artificial intelligence. And they also agree there will be challenges along the way. ABC, uh, I should say KCAU 9's Washington correspondent Jesse Tenner has the latest from the nation's capital. This is something that's potentially risky for all humans everywhere. Artificial intelligence is already becoming a part of daily life. But the country's top tech CEOs and members of Congress still don't know exactly how the government should regulate it. A lot of people feel like it's just a wild, wild west out there and that people can do anything with AI and there are no consequences, but that's not true. Linda Moore represents companies like Meta as the CEO of TechNet. She says lawmakers don't have to start from scratch. They can build on existing laws to make sure the benefits of AI outweigh the risks. It's probably the medical breakthroughs and also the ability to predict critical and severe weather that is probably the most exciting for me. The benefits to society are enormous. Lawmakers have already introduced a slew of proposals that aim to make AI safe and secure for users. But Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer says they may first have to address AI's potential to influence elections. That one has a quicker timetable maybe than some of the others. Schumer says legislation could focus on requiring disclaimers for AI-generated election ads with deceptive images and sounds, known as deep fakes. It's very important to do. Republican Senator Mike Rounds agrees that should be a priority and stresses the U.S. has to be a global leader on all AI regulations. We have the opportunity. We're there now. We don't want to lose that. In Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor.